Hi guys, this is Brian here from 3 d for Medical, and today we're going to talk about the sutures of the skull. The sutures are a type of fibrous joint, and they are found in between many of the bones that make up the skull. Using complete anatomy, we're going to take a look at three sutures, the coronal, the sagittal suture, and the lambdoid suture. The first suture we're going to take a look at today is the coronal suture, and this one's located at the front of the skull. As you can see in the model, this suture separates the frontal bone from both the left and right parietal bones. Now one of the tricky parts that students have with this suture is remembering the link between its name and where it's located. However, knowing the history of the name of this suture can really help you remember it. Corona is a Latin word, meaning crown, and basically back in the day, Roman emperors used to wear these special leafy crowns that would have overlapped the coronal suture. So the second suture we're going to look at today is the lambdoid suture, and this suture is located at the back of the skull. It separates the occipital bone from both the right and left parietal bones. Again, this suture is a tricky one to remember. However though, if you can gain an understanding of the origin of its name, it'll help you identify it much quicker. The word lambdoid is Greek in origin. It means similar to lambda. Now lambda is a Greek letter, and it pretty much looks like an upside down V. So if you take a look at the suture, you can kind of see that upside down V-like appearance. The third and final suture we're going to take a look at is the sagittal suture. This suture is located at the top of the skull and it separates the right and left parietal bones. And just like the other two sutures, understanding the origin of its name can really help you identify it. The word sagitta is Latin in origin and it means arrow, just like the word sagittarius means archer. Here in the model we're going to try and draw that arrow. So you can see that, yep, yeah, there's the arrow here, and then the coronal and lambdoid sutures form what appears to be, anyway, a bow. So there you go, guys. That's the three main sutures of the skull covered. However, if you're still having problems remembering which sutures are which, then just remember my friend here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to get even more tips about how to learn about the human body with complete anatomy.